EDC 2018 literally around the corner, I decided I wanted to switch gears a little bit. I've already been covering WDC at the peak of all the rumors and leaks that we have heard. Um, I do say leaks a lot, but there really isn't too much leaks. It's just a bunch of rumors. But um, I have been trying to cover up and keep as best as I can with all the news and information surrounding WDC. But I want to kind of change the tone. I want to go in a different direction. So now, let's take a, tr a field trip to Google. Yeah, we're going to go away from Apple for this video alone. We're going to go to Android. Now, even though I promote Apple and I always enjoy Apple, I have to admit that there is another uh, company and there's another software that can match Apple in terms of design, in terms of what it offers, and also its own very ecosystem, and that's Android. Now, Android is everywhere. If you don't know about Android, I am sorry, but you're literally living in a box if you don't know what Android is. And to all my... To all my Apple sheeps that like to follow Apple, wake up, guys. No offense. I know you're going to defend Apple on everything, but come on. There is literally another operating system that, let's be honest, can offer a little more than what Apple can. So, to all the Apple sheeps out there, wake up. But anyway, so Google owns Android, and Google, in my opinion has been really pushing a lot with Android. Uh, they have their own flagship devices. Google sells their own phones, and these are directly there. So the benefit with getting Google stuff is every time there's an update, it is much more faster and responsive, like Android P. That is the newest one, which will be um, offering the new whole gesture device. I guess you could say that it is literally copying Apple when it did the iPhone 10. Um, in terms of design, though, Android is pretty basic. You can always customize it. Whereas with iOS, it's not so easy to customize. You have to wait for Apple to do it. Whereas with Android, you can jailbreak it and you don't have to worry about any risks or anything. I mean, it's much more secure with iOS, but Android allows you to customize and do more, which I like. And if you're with Google, if you have a Google account, like Google Photos and all that stuff, if you go to another phone and it's an Android phone, you have no worries at all. As a matter of fact, there's like only two operating systems I can think of in the market right now. It's Android and Apple or well, iOS. So you don't have to worry about really like if you're an iOS user and you're going over to Android, that's going to be a pretty hard switch. But if you're a guy going off the Samsung Galaxy S9 and going to the Google Pixel 2 XL, there's no really big change. But that's not what this video is about. I'm just talking about Android and I respect Android. I don't hate it like all... Apple people. Um, I know some people don't as well. I know most Apple fans don't hate Android. I am definitely one of them. I respect Android and actually prefer it a little bit. But I don't like a certain phone from Google. And that's the Google Pixel 2. I'm not saying it's the worst phone. I have a problem that this is supposed to be their flagship device. And it's supposed to be a budget-friendly phone. And the problem is... They were like pricing it at around the same as what an iPhone would cost. Now you can make the argument that iPhone is much more expensive and you really don't get as much. But if you think about it, the hardware in the iPhones are much more advanced than the stuff you get inside of a Google Pixel. For example, the Google ha Pixel has a Snapdragon 840. Uh, let me actually pull that up just to make sure. Uh, so just making sure because you know I don't want to read off fake facts but Google had the same processor that almost every Android phone has had like LG um, Samsung even and they're pretty much not really offering as much in terms of software and if you look at Apple's track record when it comes to software they're pretty much on top of the ball game they've got the a11 bionic chip which has the neural engine for the face ID and with the a12 chip coming out which I will be breaking down in another video which will probably be tomorrow um, the point I'm trying to get at is Apple has good hardware, so it justifies a little bit with the price that you pay and what you pay is what you get. And the thing with the Google pixel two and the pixel two XL for 649, I don't think that's a good price, especially for a device from Google. And again, you can make the argument with Apple. They're doing the same, but if you look at what Apple offers, there's a slight difference. But again, this is not about Google versus Apple. This is about the Google Pixel 3. 
Now, I don't usually cover Android a lot, but this might be the one time where I will be covering an Android phone and keeping you guys up to date on a certain device. I will be doing it for Samsung and I will definitely be doing it for Google because these are the two main companies that I can think of that offer a lot in terms of bringing in any edge device that is pretty much like a majority of what the market is using. So I will definitely be coming. I, I'll be covering mainly Apple, but on the side, I will definitely get some Android in there. But apparently there have been some re uh, rumors and some concept images of the Google Pixel 3 XL. And apparently there are rumors saying that it may have a notch and it will have an edge to edge screen display. Now, there was a reveal the, uh, a little while back where the Google Pixel 3 where apparently um, Apple, uh, <laughs> Apple, Google revealed some kind of demo in Android P and the device that they that they used did not offer a like a like a design that Google Pixel 2 or the 2 XL had instead it had a giant full um, it had like a whole new design like a full screen and it didn't it just seemed to have not had a notch but um, we don't know for sure now it is rumored that the Google Pixel 3 will have a notch obviously copying Apple's design but what I am definitely interested in in this case is they're going to do a literal, literal edge to edge display. So that means just like Apple's iPhone 10, but they're going to literally cover that entire screen with OLED, OLED display. That's a whole goddamn screen full of just what you want. So if that's the case, then I will definitely be covering this phone. Now there are a bunch of concept images going around and I'm trying to stay closer to accredited source because I don't want to, you know, give you guys false information. So the article is on CNET. These are concept images. Uh, CNET is usually a reliable source when it comes down to some uh, Android versions. Um, the overall, the whole thing is I'm a little bit excited. I want to see where Google can take this and what they can offer. Because let's be honest, Google make, likes to make fun of Apple all the time. But if you look at their flagship devices and you look at what they're trying to be, but not really, it, it doesn't really add up to me. But I still respect them regardless. And I re appreciate that there is something out there that can bring a competition to the market. And I have to admit, Google, uh, Google, uh, sorry, I saw something, uh, Google, in my opinion, I think Google offers in terms of artificial intelligence and also their software, it's very advanced, especially Google Assistant. Google Assistant is really, really advanced. But that's another discussion for WEDC, my final thoughts on that. Um, but overall, they have a lot to offer. So that's going to do it for this video. Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what do you think of the Google th uh, Pixel 3. Um, what is your thoughts on it? I'm definitely taking a little more interest in this and I will definitely be covering some Android rumors and stuff because you know I definitely want to suit if viewers want to come in they want to get Apple but you also want Android I will do my best to cover both and I will promise to pump out the content each day or uh, as often as two days or something but that's gonna do it for this video thank you for watching and peace